Hi, my name is Sutton Foster and I play Reno Sweeney. And I'm Gary Wilmot, I play Elisha Whitney. So Reno Sweeney um, is best friends with Billy Crocker. She thinks maybe there could be some romance there, but they're best, they're, it's, pl it's platonic. But um, Billy is on board the SS American, they're traveling uh, to London, and he actually has snuck on board to follow another girl. Um, but he's feeling down about it, and Reno is basically, You're the Top is a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, a duet, a battle of affection. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, yeah. so it's, it's, it's two people um, trying to uh, out, out love one another. So it's, a, and it's so clever, and it's brilliant Cole Porter lyrics, and, um, impossible to memorize and uh, and a delight to do with Sam and it's uh, Sam who plays Billy Crocker and um, so it's uh, it really is like it's like the you're in the locker room and you're pumping up the the champ to go you know go get the girl you're the best or you're the top so. you're the top you're my Swanee River you're the top you're a goose's liver you're the baby grand of a lady you're a dress from Saxis, you're next year's taxes. Or Pepsi Nets. You're a prize, you're a night at Coney. You're the eyes for fighting for Tony. I'm a bright frog that can find no love to hop. But, but if baby, I'm a bird and you're the top. You're the top. I'm, I'm playing Elisha Whitney, who kind of pops off and on. He's like a drunk and a business... Not very drunk, is he? But he's a, he likes a drink, and he's a businessman, and he's basically on board to have a good time and to go over to, to London to, to fulfil, I think, his social calendar. Uh, he's a Yale man, and, uh, <laughs> and so he's over here to... to uh, what, what's the word he says? So, uh, to, to boot the, to Yale, boot the boot. Yale team uh, home, the Yale boat home, yeah. for, for boat race at Henley, Henley Regatta. Uh, not regatta, regatta. And uh, uh, yeah, but I'm nowhere near anything goes, not until the finale, am I? Right. Well, I, I think the whole concept of anything goes is that the, 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 the boat, the world of, the world of anything goes at that point at the end of act one, everything's topsy-turvy. It's, it's basically anything goes. So our two lead characters, Moonface Martin, played by brilliant Robert Lindsay, and Billy Crocker, played by um, Sam, they, it's they are well. Sam is now convinced everyone that he's a world famous gangster. <laughs> but the and instead of putting him in the brig, the the people on board the boat are so excited because he's a celebrity. <laughs> so there's this sense, and then Moonface Martin becomes that he's a celebrity too. And so there, it's like everything. All of a sudden, all of the. It's funny. It's like all the everything sort of. Um, Everything's topsy turvy. Every, blacks, blacks, white. When day's night, everything's. It's like Freaky Friday, and it's just this joyous moment where everyone is free to just be and and live, and uh, so it's just like this incredible celebration, and and everyone comes together and and dances and lets go. And, and if that's not an excuse for a tap routine, I don't know. <laughs>
going amazing. Yeah. More than I, I, I don't know if we. I had no expectations. I don't know if I could have anticipated so how the audience has. They they. Um, been so amazingly responsive and it's uh yeah it's been amazing amazing to be back yeah i think it, when when you're in the rehearsal room it's quite a cold and clinical and people will laugh and applaud but there's only half a dozen people there watching you and you you think you got it right and then you stand in front of an audience that, 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 uh, and do it and they they're on their feet and they're cheering and clapping and it's it's quite a surprise <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a surprise <laughs> you're like what us <laughs> yeah, uh, well yeah i mean you put all the work in and you hope that's well, but by the time you get to that stage, it's kind of the stage you've forgotten that. You know, yeah. you just kind of go, technically, yeah. I need to be here and say this and try and get that emotion. But when you get the reaction as well, um, it, it's really quite astonishing yeah, and, and been, always a surprise. Yeah. yeah, it's been overwhelming and emotional and because mm. it's been so long for all of us, you know, being back together and being on stage and being in a theater and being with an audience. And so it's like that culmination of all these things and. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's been wonderful just trying to enjoy every single moment and not take anything for granted. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic.